I'm going to tell you a story about my dad. <laughs> See, this one time I brought home a dog. Scruffy little mongrel half-staff. See, my dad never trusted staffs. I found him in the field and brought him home. And my dad goes, oh, that's a staff. That's a staff that'll turn. But I begged. And I begged him to let me keep that dog. He says, all right. You can keep that dog. But if anything happens, and he didn't finish his sentence, just, if anything happens, that's it. See, a week later, that dog tears into my sister. Tears into her. You can still see the scar up here on her inner arm, blood. <laughs> blood. So he takes her up to the hospital. He carries her up to the hospital. And I'm at home, hours going by, fucking shitting it. Dog as well, both shitting it. And he comes home, says nothing. Gets the dog, gets me, gets a knife, goes upstairs into the bathroom. Dog in the bath shaking. He takes my hand and he puts it on the dog's jugular and says, feel that pulse. And he put the knife into my other hand. Blood hit the fucking ceiling. It took me almost 45 minutes to cut the head off. Another hour to cut the legs off through the bone. Then we put it in a bin bag, took it up the field, and chucked it in the lake. I'm my father's son. Don't ever doubt me. Don't ever doubt my ability.